Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how I created this video. And I'm going to show you how to do it using Sony Vegas Movie Studio 13. So first thing I want to do is create a new project and it's going to be an internet video and we'll select HD and we'll call this one green screen tutorial and on the left here you'll see your transitions video effects here's your preview screen to the right and down here here's the fields you're going to play with so you'll see you have text that's for titles, credits, etc. your video your audio so video and audio are together and then music if you want to add music. Now luckily we can add other tracks. So to make a green screen video we want to right click on video and insert video track. And double click on the uh, on the name here and we'll just call it green screen video enter and now we have two video tracks. If you want to add let's say sound effects or two songs at the same time right click on music insert audio track double click on the track name and we can call this sound effects for instance you have a train crashing train whistle okay we're all set up to insert our video track so you're going to take your raw video footage that you record on your mobile device or your video camera drag it into Movie Studio 13 and here's the raw footage I can move it anywhere I want again like I said the video and the audio are together and I don't want the first part so I'm just going to trim so I'm going to hold down my left mouse button and drag it to trim. I don't want the first part of the first part of the video. Let's see where we're at here. So I click on it. Let's see my preview screen. So I press play to see what I have. This is me setting the camera up. Okay, I'm going to pause it here. So what you see here is a green, a dark green piece of bristle board that I taped to my wall. And I tried to frame the camera up to catch all the green screen. You'll notice here I missed a, just a little bit on the edge, which we can fix later on with the crop feature. So again, let's just trim it here where the train comes in. Pretty quick video. Let's see what we're going to play. Here comes the pine rail with the tanks. And we'll stop it there. So that's where it stopped, and I want to trim the right side now, cut off the, the fodder. And here is my track. Let's say you're video is too loud for some reason and you want to turn the volume down on the track hover your mouse over the audio and you'll see now that it says the gain is 0.0, .0 dB decibels I guess left click and drag and you see the gain is going down and you can go right down to mute just the volume. This is a good feature for music. Sometimes music or sound effects are really loud. You want to turn the volume down a bit. This is how you can adjust the volume. So we don't want any volume at all for this track. So we're just going to write right down to mute zero. So we play it, you hear nothing. Because we're going to add music later on. Okay, next we need the mountain scene. So I just went to 
Mountain 4K free footage. So free stock footage. Here's the video I used. Again, it's not a picture. I like the video because the trees are swaying in the wind a little bit. So I'm going to copy the URL. Open a new tab. I'm going to go to keep video. Or sorry, keepvid.com. Paste my YouTube video here. Download. Click on the MP4 Max 720p. So here it is here. Again, I'm going to drag it into my Movie Studio 13. And we don't need that much, so we're just going to trim it down. Okay, where it says green screen video, you're going to drag your raw footage up to there leaving a blank here. Mute the YouTube music that came with this video. So now you play it. You're going to see whatever video is on top. So we want to see the mountain scene. If we mute this video, we can see the mountain scene here perfectly. Unmute. Okay, so to crop out this piece of wall here, so we have all green screen, you're going to go down to Pan Crop, and make sure you can see your whole preview screen. Click on Source. Okay, you want to maintain your aspect ratio? Yes. Stretch to fill frame. Let's give it that for now and see what happens. So you want to crop it so that this little piece of wall is out of the frame. So you're going to drag one of the corners. You see it's maintaining its aspect ratio. So we don't have to scratch very much. We're just going to bring it a little bit. If you want, you can move it. Like that. You'll see now the wall is now gone. We have all green screen. Okay, let's close the pan crop box. And now our video is not showing that piece of wall. We now cut it out. So now that our picture is cropped, we can now do the green screen effect. So you want to, we want to show this mountain scene where the green screen is. So let's try right clicking on the mount, mountain scene video, video of event effects. I'm looking for chroma key here. So select it, add it, OK it. So what you want to do is the color, the eyedropper, and you can see on my green screen, it's dark here, dark here, light here. To have a really good green screen effect, lighting is key, but it's not professional, so we'll do our best. So I'm going to select just randomly here. Now you'll see our green comes up here. So now we have this selected. Now, low threshold, high threshold, and the blur amount, you're going to want to play with these three slide bars until you get the perfect video. And let's call this Mountain green. Because this color here, unless you memorize these numbers, you won't get the exact green for the next video. So we're going to name it Mountain Green. We're going to save it. We're going to close it. Go back to our train video, event effects, and we're going to select. Oh, here's the names right here. So they have a default green screen, which is really bright. But we're going to choose mountain green. So now it's the exact same 
as a mountain. So now if we play with this, it should be a bit better. Play it. Again, not perfect, but for an amateur, it's not bad. Stop it there. Okay, last step. Let's add some music. Drag it into your editor. And now we can put it in. You can put it in sound effects or music. Let's put it in music. I'm going to zoom back in. Now you see the sound wave here, how loud it is? We can adjust that. Bring it back down to here. There we go. And we're going to trim it because we just need a little bit of sound. Just going to get rid of this. There we go. And this one too. There. Clean up a little bit. Let's see what we got. Oh yeah, groovy. Added in my con rail, pulled out all my daggers. Okay, so let's trim it right to the video. So and if you want your music to fade, you hit the fade button. And now, you can fade in and fade out. You can do the same with your video. Fade in, fade in, fade out, fade out. Let's drag it right to the start. That way when you render this, you won't get a whole bunch of black, empty space here. Now I can press this play button. This play button, see, play from start. So if you're here, working here, and you watch a video for it from the start, this button fades in, music fades in, see the train, and to add a text, right click, insert text media, con rail, in. Mountains, text, center it. How's it look? And I can move it anywhere I want. Close it. I can go to pan crop. I want to just rotate a little bit. There we go. So we'll play from start. And you should, if you're going to fade everything else, you might as well fade your text in too. But it's up to you. So there you have it your own green screen, add whatever you want. Have some fun with it. Add your music, add your text. If you have any questions, please, please, please ask me. Leave a comment. Again, this is very, very basic. And as long as you have two video tracks you can make and, and some green bristle board, you can make your own green screen video. Have fun. Thanks for watching. Okay, let's see what's in the box. This big, big box. Gucci! Hey! No dogs in the train room! I am the wire wizard!